even though I still have amazing memories of the Defender 90 test at the Posh Les Combs estate in Barcelona, I am fortunate enough to get behind the wheel of the British off-road vehicle once more. However, this time, the focus is on the newly extended 130 version, which can comfortably seat 8 people. This is an expensive alternative, with prices starting at €100,599 for the same model shown in the pictures a turbo diesel with light hybridization, D250MHEV, and a SE finish. Ryu prepared to go missing at the end of the world with a large family or group of friends. Ride them, and you can be sure they'll have fun. Everyone's attention is focused on the Land Rover Defender's demise. First and foremost, for its enormous size, but also for its alluring design one of those that looks good from any angle. Unquestionably a huge accomplishment for the designers to stick with the traditional concept while yet showcasing a contemporary halo. Although the 130 version's longer back overhang may somewhat disrupt the car's symmetry, the side view is unaffected by this feature. Recall that the wheelbase of the 130 is the same as that of the Defender 110, 3.02 meters. Consequently, the 130's 5.3. 5 meters of length can only be attributed to this overhang. However, it penalizes the departure angle significantly, measuring 28.5 degree as opposed to 37.5 in the 110. It's odd that the automobile doesn't have side stairs to make getting in and out easier. Considering the 29 centimeters of ground clearance, these are maneuvers that call for some dexterity and are not suitable for little children or the elderly. You have undoubtedly noticed those additions that are typical of camper vans. Hay are a part of the Explorer Pack, 4,747 euros, which also includes a side ladder, chest, raised air intake, also known as a snorkel, wheel arch guards, front and rear mud flaps, and a matte black hood sticker. Is this camperization to your liking? Thank you.